Hi guys, this is Angie Bell with My Fairy Treasures. Okay you guys, I'm coming at you today with um, some Mackenzie Childs checks inspired bunnies and eggs and some carrots. So, we got a lot to do, so let's get started. Okay, so this is the bunny that I'm going to show you how to do. We haven't done the inclusions yet, and I'll show you what inclusions are. It's how Mackenzie Childs makes everything very whimsical. She throws in, like on the white, she either throws in dark, dark gray, so it looks like it's like an off, like a shadow of black onto the white. And on the black, she shows, she puts a little bit of white in there. So, um, at least the artists do. So they want to always give inclusions. They want it to look imperfect, and it makes it look more whimsical. And then... Check out this one. Let me turn it this way. This egg here. Isn't this fabulous? I'm just trying to see where I need to be at to be in frame. Isn't that fabulous? Um, you guys, I am going to, at the end of this video, experiment with some bows. I, ha I was thinking about bows, and I forgot to put bows on here. Um, but you can do whatever you want with these. These are the big, and I should say what these are made out of. These are the big eggs. The wooden eggs, this is what they originally look like, from Dollar Tree. And then um, <coughs> just the blanks, the wooden blanks. And then the uh, the big bunny here is uh, look like that originally. So it's those bunnies that they sold. Okay. The other thing we're going to do is some, the little ones. You know, they came in the packages. So here's a... Aren't they so cute? And then the carrots. And then the eggs. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do those. And they came in these packages. Remember all these? And then the eggs. It's these ones. So it's all of those. Okay. And I picked up an obscene amount. Way too many. Oh my goodness. I picked up way too many. Okay, so... The first thing we're going to do is we're going to start out with, let's start with the bunny. Okay, so let me set my buns down. We will get started. Let me make sure I'm in frame. Okay, this bunny is big, so, okay, perfect. Let's see, this bunny is big, so I'm going to, let me see if I can bring this down, so I can bring this up. And I can be completely on my glass mat. Yes. There we go. Okay, so what you want to, what you want to start out with is painter's tape. Um, on the ears, I'm just going to do stripes. So, I have painter's tape that, let me see if you can see, I have painter's tape that is just the regular size. And then this right here is like two of these put together. So if you don't have this one, put two of these together, okay? And then that'll make make this size, all right? So you don't have to run out and buy both sizes. You can have just this size of painter's tape. And this is a green painter's tape. It's kind of a, it's a really nice painter's tape. Anyway, you can buy the blue. Um, when you do use painter's tape, take it and even though, and if you have masking tape to do this, do the same thing. Put it on your pants a couple of times and just get the extra stickiness off. Even though it's painter's tape, it can still pull up your paint. Also, I all my wooden pieces, I used, what did I use? I used um, Rust-Oleum white paint, which has a primer and white in it. You can use uh, Kills, K-I-L-Z. You could use probably a couple coats of white paint. You could use gesso. Whatever you want to use to get these pieces white. So all the pieces I did with Rust-Oleum white paint with a primer in it and it's a spray paint and I love it because I can just do it really fast so <coughs> but if you only have some white acrylic paint just paint them with that you might need me to do maybe need to do two or three coats okay so the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to do the ears and <coughs> oh this will be a little not majorly difficult but a little because I um I have to work under this camera so so you guys can see what I'm doing okay so I'm taping them off like this okay 
And so the ears are not going to be the checks. The ears are just going to be stripes. You know what? Let me start here at the bottom because I think that's where I started last time. Just let me experiment for a second. Oh, and you used a um, a black uh, Sharpie. Yeah, I think I started at the tip of the ear. And I'm still going to end there. I think these turn out so cute. Okay, let me just keep going. I'm trying to think how I did this to keep it everything going really nice. How did I do this? Okay. I'm just looking to see what I did last time. I did this so simply last time. Oh, I see what I did last time. All right, well, <laughs> I'm doing it different this time. <laughs> Perfect. So I have these stripes going this way and these going down this way. Last time I, I did it a little different, but no major. I'm just going to do it the same way this time, though, that we just did it. And when you do yours, you can also improvise. on the ears. You can paint the ears all black and do white polka dots. You can leave the ears white and do black polka dots. You could do checks also, smaller checks like on the ears if you want. I think doing checks on the ears would be a little bit, It's that's a little bit more, a little bit more work, a little bit more of a thought process, but whatever you want to do. So this is just my way that I'm doing it on the ears. You do as you wish. And do you have to end up the same way on both? No. What I love about Mackenzie Childs is everything is very, um, very whimsical. And imperfections are totally welcomed. So you don't have to worry about being perfect. If you get out of the lines when you're painting the black and white checks, perfect. They get out of the lines all the time on their pieces. If you don't know who McKenzie Checks is, you can go to um, Shop HQ. They sell McKenzie Checks um, uh, items, which are gorgeous. Okay, so we're done with the ears. Um, you can go to McKenzieChild.com and go to their website. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and uh, you'll see. It's just like really whimsical, magical style. I just, I'm obsessed with it. I love it. And there's a lot of girls here on YouTube that do, that are obsessed with it and do Mackenzie Child style. Okay, so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to go across like this. Okay. And just keep going across. Now, this is where if I'm using, I'm using the bigger tape. If you don't have this size, do two of the regular size. Oh, excuse my sniffing, you guys. My allergies just all of a sudden. Actually, it's not all of a sudden. Once I woke up this morning, I just had a little bit of allergies. Then they went away, and then I started making this video. And, of course, they decided to come back. So 
you can see this is really really quick really easy and if those ears like I just showed you how I did the ears if those ears seem a little difficult you guys paint the ear um, go ahead and make a line right here so you have the ears basically chopped off you know and then right here from here all the way around paint it black and then that'll um, that'll take the that whole ear situation and um, simplify it especially if you're new at doing these McKenzie checks and I guess McKenzie stripes right right okay so now we have lines this way so now we need to do the lines going the other way right I have to see if I want to do this right here down the center and I think I do yes I do okay and if you um, mess up to like I said just be gentle with yourself but if you really mess up you can just paint it white again or any little area white again and start again no major but remember with the McKinsey child style a lot of um, little mistakes are welcome so So all you're doing is creating checks. Even if you only have a little spot left, like right here, you just bring it straight down. It's just whatever you have left. So if it's not perfect squares on the feet, they're not going to be perfect squares because you're dealing with some little round spots. See, these are, this one's right, but look at the end where the feet are at. So. What does Olivia um, from Olivia's uh, Romantic Home say? Give yourself grace. I like that. I like that saying. That's even helped me out in my art. Sometimes I just say, Angela, give yourself grace. When I'm trying to be perfect, which is so stupid. I should not be trying to always be perfect. There's no such thing as perfection anyway. And I know that, but sometimes you have to be reminded of it, you know? Okay. And let me see what I'm left over with here. Okay. Perfect. Look how adorable this is. Oh my God. I love it. All right. Okay. You guys, I'm going to put you on pause because I just have got to blow my nose. So let me put you on pause. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. <clears throat> All right, so we're about to do my favorite, 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 favorite part, which is the painting. I love this painting so much. It makes, it just relaxes me. It's like when I knit or I spin yarn, I spin art yarn, or collaging. It's that same thing. You're just doing the same thing over and over and over, and that doing the same thing over and over just I don't know why but it just <coughs> I like it it relaxes me okay let me put my readers on and where's my brush okay, here wait that's not the brush I want oh here's the brush I want all right so at this point all we need is some cheapy cheapy black acrylic paint on the corner of my glass mat um, I'm using this brush and you can just use any brush you want but I like a brush that has a point on it because then you can get right into the corners but then you can also go you know in bigger areas with it so it's just really a, a brush with a pointed end is super versatile I like using that what no matter what I'm doing whether I'm doing mixed media crafting stuff like this I love it Okay, so this I'm gonna start this to me is white right here. That's a little bit of a tip on the tip. That's white, so this will be black. And 
And I'm going to do a lot of this, but I'm not going to do all of it just for the sake of time. But so you get an idea and then we'll do the inclusions. I'll show you how to do the inclusions. We'll do the inclusions on the other two that I showed you that didn't have any inclusions yet. That's the little inclusions are the little marks on the black part and then some marks on the white. And what it makes it look like is like highlights of color bouncing off onto each other, like some white bouncing off on the black and the black bouncing off onto the white. <clears throat> so I'm just doing black and white stripes on these ears. Uh, how do I want to do it? White, black, black, white, black. We'll do uh, white. We'll do black here. Okay. Next one is white, so this one's black. I swear I could have a job with McKinsey Child Company and just do this all day. Just paint black and white checks. Sounds so simplified, but oh, I love it. Okay, so um, for the sake of time, I'm going to skip this ear. And um, since we have black here, we have white here, we'll have black in the middle. And I have an idea to put bows on things, so I'll show you that at the end. We're going to experiment because I have an idea. I just haven't done it yet. Usually I've done it in advance to show you guys, but whatever. Uh, white, so black, white. So this is white, black, white. So this needs to be black here. So all you're doing is staying in pattern. So with these pieces that you're creating, these would be great, especially the big ones, the big bunny and the big egg would be great. Like if you're doing like a, um, a basket or if you're doing a three tier tray to set it up in the back of it. Um, do have a little hole right here. So if you want to string them up and hang them, you can do that. You can make a bigger sign out of this or artwork by taking two um, of like the uh, the long signs that you get at Christmas or um, they just had two of the long ones for um, St. Patty's Day, put those together with popsicle sticks on the opposite, on the, on the painted side and the popsicle sticks hold it together, bring it forward and then do like a white and then paint it white and then maybe do some black streaks through it. So it looks like a wooden, like a, like a wooden background. And um, you can apply these onto that. So there's so many things you can do with these. On a fireplace mantle, this will look really cute, propped up against the back of the mantle and then pieces put in front of it. I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna use mine yet because I'm, I'm just doing all my Easter DIYs. I haven't exactly put everything completely together yet. And if I do it the week of Easter, as far as putting everything together, that's fine with me. Cause I'm going to leave it up till, um, I'm going to consider this all spring decor, not just Easter because eggs, bunnies, carrots, that's all spring too. So I just think it's a nice way to extend the springtime. 
So I'll leave it up until summer. Okay, so then we have, um, this needs to be white, so this needs to be black right here. Okay. I'm doing black here because it's white up here. And it's white here. So we're just staying in pattern. And for the sake of time, we will have this be the last one, the last uh, check that we do. <clears throat> And see right there, I got out of the line a little bit. Just a tad bit right there. Perfect. I think Mackenzie Childs, I think they get out of lines on purpose. Because <laughs> they always have little inclusions all over the place. Okay, so you guys see you do what we're doing, what I did. You just keep going until you're finished with that. So then it turns out like the one we did. This one. Now, let me get rid of that black right there. And so then when you're all done, it looks like that, right? Right. So let me, do I have any water in here? I have water, but do I have any water like in the sprayer? I don't. I have baby wipes. I've got to get my spray bottle filled up. I don't know why I keep forgetting. Someone just did this today. They, um, I saw them. They took a baby wipe and just put their brush in a baby wipe like this. And just to keep it moist. I thought, oh, that's a good idea. Because sometimes I don't have a piece of plastic next to me. Okay, so let me show you how to put the inclusions in this bunny. Okay, so these are how you do the inclusions. See how I did the ears different? I did them on a diagonal. So you can do this on a diagonal. That's what I did, is I did them on a diagonal. So that's actually more simple. See? You just put the tape. Bam. Bam, 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 bam. See? And the opposite way. That's actually easier than the way I did my last ones. But either way, it will work. Okay, so we need to put some inclusions on the um on the black. So we're gonna do white. Let me get some white paint out here. My paint container is Clogged up, of course. Let me get that unclogged. All right, so I'm going to put some white paint right here on my thing, and then for the inc for the inclusions on the white, I like to use this gold, this Inca gold metallic by Folk Art. It's not super solid; you can see through it. So for this, I like it. Now I showed you those other inclusions, how you, on the white, you could do a, a very dark gray inclusion, but I'm really liking the one that I'm showing you right now. So that's what I'm going to show you. Okay. Let me get my, and to make inclusions, it really works good to have like those stiff brushes or like a fan brush, but the fan brush needs to be small enough because you're dealing with, you know, smaller areas. Well, not on this, you're not, I guess you could use a fan brush, but these brushes that I have. If you have some stiff brushes in your collection, get those out. Um, you can do this without stiff brushes, but it just, I just, it's just easier. So all these brushes are really, really stiff. Okay. And I remember I didn't know what the heck I was going to do with them. I'm like, these are the stiffest brushes ever. I think they're horrible. And then I started, and then I found a white, found a reason. Okay. So let me, um, All right, so you're gonna use some paint and you need very little bit of paint on your brush. You don't want a lot of paint. So let's do some inclusions. So, okay, I'm gonna throw this one here, throw this one here on this side, throw this one right down the middle. Cool, huh? Very simple. We'll do the same thing on this one so it looks kind of uniform. Um, we'll bring this one here, we'll bring this one here, we'll bring that one there. 
So as you can see, this is just how you do these inclusions. And this is why a stiff brush works good. It really makes a nice, um, it makes a nice, um, like stroke brush marks. You can do it from both sides like that too. You can come up from the top. You can come up from the sides. You could do both in one. Okay. So you can really see. I'm not really thinking about it too much. See, I did it from both sides on that one. Okay. So that's how we're going to, that's how we're going to do the inclusions there with the white. Okay. Next, I'm going to use the same brush. I just rinsed it because I like the way this brush is working. All right, so I'm going to take that gold paint. I see the gold a lot of times on their, um, like their mugs, on everything, because they fire things. And when they fire them, it seems like the, it looks to me like the white has some little yellow streaks that go through it once it's, once it's, uh, it's fired in the kiln. That's how I see it, why these yellow, these yellowy, goldy inclusions are in there. Or maybe they've just painted those in there. I don't really know. But I like them. So you can just put them in anywhere, just like I'm doing. Just a little bit. What is all that? There we go. So this is just how I'm putting in these inclusions. <laughs> and so it's not real super obvious. Like I think you do want to be on the lighter hand side of it. So you can just put in just a little inclusion here and there. I'll bring the camera down so you guys can get a look at what I did. And I'm sorry I'm not um, any closer, but this it, bunny is huge, so it's hard for me to get in here or to bring the camera down too low. Okay, so I just did all the inclusions. So let me bring the camera down and then I'll move the bunny around so you guys can see. Okay, look how cute that is. Isn't that adorable? Doesn't that add so much whimsy when you add all the inclusions? Super cool. Love it. Mackenzie Child inspired bunnies. Okay. So, <clears throat> love this. Let's bring this back up, the camera, so we can... Oh, don't fall. All right, so this can dry. Let's now do... Put that on the ground. Let's now do the egg. The egg is super simple. So simple. It's all very simple, I think. All right, so... Now to the egg. If 
anyone ever wonders, because you, if you watch my videos, you're like, why are you always wearing that gray shirt? These are my paint shirts. These gray t-shirts. They're also some of my casual t-shirts I like to wear around the house because they're super soft. But I definitely like to wear these for my paint shirts. Okay, so we're going to use the big one. Like I said, if you don't have the large <coughs> masking tape, you can use two of those. Okay? My husband came home with this... Um, with this big one and I'm like oh I was so happy he saw me putting two together and uh he's like isn't that be easier if you just had the bigger one I'm like uh yeah and like I said let's suppose you don't have any uh painters tape and you don't want to run out and get any you can use masking tape but like I said if you use masking tape Make sure, for for sure, that you um, take it onto your clothes quite a few times, on and off, on and off. You're trying to get a, a lot of the stickiness off. So, so make sure you do that. A little bit of the mark of the pin got smeared right there. Perfect. We're going to put inclusions in it anyway, right? So we're good. Now, see how this is, how we you have a little bit left here? That's fine. That's perfect. You don't have enough left to make another whole square. No major. That looks awesome. Okay. I love Mackenzie Childs. I've bought quite a few things on Shop HQ. In my opinion, it's one of the best ways to collect um, Mackenzie Childs type of things. I have their tea kettle, which is their, excuse me, you guys. I have their tea kettle. They're a three quart. I have a four quart. And that's, oh, I love it. One of them, I got the black and white check, McKinsey checks. And the other one is a flower market green. It's like a sagey type of green. Oh, it looks really old, old fashioned. I have a <coughs> McKinsey Child um, mugs. I have a bunch of those. I just love it. And they love to mix the McKenzie checks with flowers. Like when they set their plates up, they might do um, a charger that's flowers and then a black and white check and then more flowers and then end it with blue and white checks. It's really cool. It's really whimsical. If I was you, um, I was given this advice um, by Jeannie the Duchess. Hey Jeannie, she had told said I heard her. She had told me she was. Oh, I signed up for the Mackenzie Child uh, catalog, and as soon as she said that, I wouldn't signed up for it right away. So I could, for one, I could look and see what they have to offer, and number two, then I could like it could be inspiration for projects, and I can look and see what they're doing, how they're doing things. So when I do my. Um, when I do my um, inspiration pieces, I have a little, I have a little, a little guides to follow, little ideas. Okay, so we're starting at the top, and now we're going across to create our checks. Bye, now. Isn't this easy to create checks? And you definitely want to use, you can use a Sharpie or whatever black marker you have. You definitely want to use a black marker. Um, it puts that nice black line in. I would not do a pencil and then do the marker over it. It's a waste of time. You could just do the black magic marker to begin with. And if you... Um, if you mess up, like I said, um, just take a little bit of white paint and go over it. Sim. 
simple, simple, simple. Even this is relaxing, just doing, making squares over and over. Mackenzie Child Company, if you guys want to hit me up and give me a job of painting checks all day, I'll do it. <laughs> okay, so we're at the end and we don't have any more left, right? Okay, so we're done with the tape. And I keep using these tapes over and over. Okay, so now we're just going to paint in the black and white checks, right? Right. So, here we go. Uh, where's my brush? Here it is. That same brush that has a little bit of a point on the end that I love. We're going to go ahead and count this as white, even though it's a little small square or small, small area, white, black. And again, we won't do this entire egg. I'll go back to the one that I finished and we'll do the inclusions in that. And then we'll get on to, um, to the small, the smalls that I showed you. The small um, egg, wooden egg, carrots, and bunny. I seen someone do a chick. Now I kind of wish I would have bought the little chick, the wooden chicks. To me, they didn't look that cute, but then I saw someone paint them up. Oh my God, they are adorable. You know what? The next time I go to Dollar Tree, if they have any chicks left, I'll get them. The last time I was there a couple of days ago, they still had the wooden, little wooden chicks left. That's all they had left. They didn't have the eggs. They didn't have carrots. They didn't have anything hardly left at all as far as that. Because now it's kind of late in the season. Now they have a lot of baskets and eggs out and candy for, you know, the decor section is dwindling now for Easter. <clears throat> I have two more videos after this probably that I'm going to do. That'll have like, like, you know, have three or four projects in a video. And in fact, I'm not going to show you guys how to do the inclusions because you do the inclusions the same way that I did on the uh, bunny. Just for the sake of saving some time. But that's why I always like to do the project first before I do it like a demo like this or a tutorial, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> So I can show you what we're going for, what it's supposed to look like. Okay, so this one here is black, so this needs to be white, so this needs to be black, right? So again, just following in pattern. Like I got a little bit out of, out of this line right there. Perfect. So the next one, white, black. And white's above, so you know this is black. Again, I just got out of the line a little bit. That's perfect. Okay. Sorry for getting quiet there. It's just it's not really focusing because it doesn't really take much focus. So 
just having fun. I, I've done other videos of painting these Mackenzie checks. And this lady goes, I just like to sit there and watch you paint those checks. That's relaxing. I'm like, oh. I heard someone say today, I forgot her name. She's a mixed media artist. And she said that um, doing art um, is so good for the brain and for your nerves and kind of like an art therapy. And uh, so this has to be white. This little space right here, this it's very small, needs to be black. Um, but she said also to watch is therapy also. It relaxes the mind. Um, it's just a really good therapy for the mind and for your nerves. Okay? So that's what you're going to do, and you're going to do it all the way down. Okay? And then just like how we did it on the, um, just how we did it on the uh, bunny, that's how you're going to do the, um, the inclusions. Okay? So I'm wrapping this back in my baby wipe. All right, so we're done with the egg. Put that down on the ground. So we've done the egg, we've done the bunny. Now let's do the smalls. The smalls are this. Remember, this bunny, this egg, and the carrots. Okay, so I've already painted, like I told you, I've prepared all my pieces with white Rust-Oleum paint with a primer. You do whatever white paint, whatever you wanna to do to prepare your surface. Okay, we'll start with the bunny. Let me look and see what the time situation is. And I can come down, oh, we're at 42 minutes, cool. We can come down a lot, a lot more because we're dealing with this little small bunny here. Okay. <clears throat> this little bunny is so fun to do. Okay, so this is how I found it. The easiest way to do is I'm gonna do the ears completely black. And um, I'm going to do these, I'm gonna do these stripes at an angle. And I'm lining it up with the bottom of this, of the ears. That's how I found this easiest to do. I'll show you. Let me just do it instead of talking about it. Okay. And having the tape kind of longer than the um, than the bunny itself, it's kind of cool because it um, you can use it to hold the bunny down while you while you draw in the the checks. Just keep going. So these will be like kind of like diagonal type of checks. And then there's nothing left here. That's all that's left on the foot. So we won't touch that. Right, right. And then I do need to put in right here so I can cut off the uh, ears. We're just gonna chop the ears off, just kidding. Those were going to paint completely black and do polka dots on there. Um, okay, so now let's go ahead and start with, I'm going to start at the um, tail end and just put that straight across right there and start doing the checks or doing the vertical lines now to make the checks. And you can see I'm using the smaller um, painter's tape. And I'm going to um, use the smaller painter's tape for the rest of all this. Did I just mark up my fingernail? I just did my nails. And I just put a black Sharpie on my nail. Hopefully that, okay. I got some of it off. The rest should come off. Okay. And what we want to do is not go over that diagonal line for the ears up there. Okay, that's our stop line because we are, um, that's our stop line because we're going to paint that black. All right, so then we're going to end up right here for the nose. Okay. 
Look how we did that. All right, so we're all done with that. So now let's do our black and white checks. Let me make sure you guys are still there. Make sure you guys are still seeing everything. Get this somewhere where I can feel comfortable painting these. Okay, so let me get my brush back out. Some more. This is just that 50 cent black acrylic paint. Now, if you guys want to, you can always, um, you can put, make them look like they were like made out of ceramic by putting um, a clear <coughs> coat of uh, spray paint over it, like shiny, or like a really nice thick glaze. You could do that too. I'm probably not going to glaze these pieces. Um, I might glaze the big ones. Okay, I'll show you with what? With this right here. Triple thick uh, brush on glaze. I got lucky. You know when Hobby Lobby has their clearance? Like right now, starting in January, they did it. Um, especially in the craft section, 75% off. I picked this up for like two bucks. So I picked up like three of them. And because I like to do this McKinsey stuff, I've almost used all of them now. But I think normally that's probably $8 or something like that. Okay, so let's start. So I'm going to continue. This little piece right there I'm going to say that's white so the next one is black if you only have like a half of a check half of a square or just a little corner or a little triangle count that still as black and white and we'll go ahead and do this whole bunny because we can we have enough time in this video and these little pieces are really quick. Um, and this is white above, even that's that little space, so that's black. I'll be turning this every which way but loose just to get myself in the right um, angle. White, so this is black, and it's white here, so this is black here. Just follow in pattern. Okay, and then uh, black, white, black. Again, we will not do the inclusions because the inclusions are just done the same exact way that we did on that bunny. So I'm going to spend the rest of my afternoon finishing up all these pieces that I have. And then, look, I have a stack of carrots, bunnies, and eggs. I'm going to spend my afternoon doing that. What a beautiful, relaxing Friday afternoon. That's what I think. Okay, so this is white. This is black. And just watch videos and paint checks. If you're going through some stress, what a great way to de-stress. Instead of eating about it or doing whatever you do about your stress instead of doing all that just come in and paint some checks go into your art room and do something simple not a major project but whatever simple if, if you want to make some flowers make some flowers if you have a nice little way to make flowers out of fabric or paper <coughs> do some collaging things that are very um meditative and are simple and that can just really help you, I think. Like, work through your issues. I'm going to paint these completely black on top. Work through your problems or your issues. Think of how you're going to resolve it. Or um, help you just accept <laughs> the way it is. Because sometimes you can't resolve it. It has nothing to do with you. It's just, um, it's just you finally accepting the way that it is. Whatever the issue is. A lot of times it's about you accepting the issue the way it is. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to let this go come back to this bunny because I do want to just want to paint the polka dots on the ears. <coughs> but we can't paint the polka dots on the ears until it dries. Isn't that so adorable? Look how cute. Oh my God, I'm so obsessed. Okay, so put that aside. Let me put my baby wipe back around my brush. What a great way to store your brush so you don't have to keep, um, you don't have to keep, let me get a baby wipe, so you don't have to keep uh, rinsing out your brush. Especially a brush that you're going to be using over and over. Keeps it nice and moist. A second, I just want to keep get my hands a little clean here. Let me check out my window. I think my husband, yeah, he left. Okay, all right, so let's now do let's do the carrot. All right, so simple, we will do this the small one. And we're going to go ahead and start right in the middle. I like to, a lot of times I like to start right in the center and then go out from there, especially in this type of shape. I, I'll do the same thing with the egg. I'll start right in the center. If it's a plate, I'll start right in the center. So let's do both sides of this carrot. So we're all started right there. And then lay the tape down. Now look how we only have like a little bit left. I'm going to go ahead and still mark that. Okay. Still marking that. Okay. And the same thing on this side. Okay, am I going to grab that tape or what? Anybody else notice that down? I don't know if you ever watched the Downton Abbey series. Um, it's back on the whole series beginning to end. I started watching it again since it's, I guess I had it taped or I had it set on my DVR and it started and then all of a sudden there's the series again. I'm like, okay. Even though I have the whole series on DVD. I could just watch it if I wanted to, but it's on my DVR, so I thought, okay. Um, so now you see I'm just laying it across. And I just start right at the top and just lay across, lay across, lay across. So hopefully you have bought these, all these shapes. Um, if you've watched my Dollar Tree hauls, I have said I was going to do... Um, DIYs with all of these. Oh, I have other ways to also paint all of these, making them very distressed looking. So I'll do a video on that probably too. Very quick, very simple, but I think very effective. These right here are going to be great for your three tier trays. Um, if you have like little nests or little baskets around the house, you can stick those in there, stick these in there. They're great with so much. Adorable. All right, so let's paint this one black and white checks. So we're right here. <coughs> Let me get my brush and let's start. All right, we'll, we'll start with white and this will be black. Oh, 
All you have to do is make a decision where you want to start. You can start with white, you can start with black. Checks, doesn't matter. And of course that's white, so this is black. And like I've been saying, all this stuff like carrots, rabbits, or bunnies, um, and the, even the eggs, all of it is spring. It doesn't have to be only Easter. So, okay, so right here, this is white, right? So even this little triangle right here is black. Make sure you pay attention to the little spots because that's going to make a big difference. <clears throat> if you skip it because it's small, you'll be sorry. Stay in pattern. No matter if it's just a little speck left there, it's in pattern. Okay, and that's white. And we go here, and we need to leave that white. This needs to be black, white, black. Okay, so white, this is black. Oh, I know what I need to do today. I want to finish painting all this up, but you know what I have to do? I have to plant a plum tree. I planted one plum tree, and then I read the, I read the little directions on it. It said that you need to have more than one, which most fruit trees you have to plant two so they can cross pollinate. And I just completely forgot. I don't know why when I was at Lowe's, someone didn't say, uh, you need two of those to cross pollinate, but nobody said a damn thing to me anyway. So I had to go spend 30 more dollars for another damn tree. Anyway, I got to get that planted. What, what's nice is I already dug the hole. So I thought, because when I was digging the hole for the first one, I thought, you know what, let me just dig the next hole. So all I have to do is come, come back and plop this tree in the ground. So, and I already have, like what I like to do is, I forgot what they call it, but you, you, you feed your plants organically, which I make my own compost and feed my, my plants that way, whether it's in the pots or the ground. But also, I forgot what they call it, the, native, the natives did this. Before they plant it, at the end of the season, they just went ahead and um, took wherever they had their crops, chopped up their crops, and then put dirt over that. And I think it's called sheet composting. Yeah. And so then when they come back, it's already all broken down for the next season. And then it's already naturally, the, the earth is naturally fed. Isn't that fabulous? So in the bottom of the hole, I'm going to throw in leaves. I'm going to throw in um, a bunch of scraps like... Um, and I've been doing this and it works great. Banana peels, coffee grounds, a couple of eggs, and that will feed the plants and feed the soil and make my soil richer. So I, I, it's really cool. Okay, so um, in pattern, this little section here needs to be black. That needs to be white. This needs to be black. Yeah, it's called sheet composting. Then I, I was watching one lady on YouTube and it was really cool. She she gardened in the desert. That's why I liked watching her. She lived in Arizona. I used to live in Arizona. But now I'm in Vegas and um, it's the desert too. And, you know, the biggest thing is you need to plant um, for the damn summer. I mean, plant for the spring and do your spring plants. But summer is where your challenge is going to be at. So, um, uh, black here. So, um, she did... Um, she would always go out to her yard and like if there was a tree there or a vegetable garden, she'll take her banana pills or her gar or her uh, eggshells and just make a little hole and just throw it right into the ground. She said she didn't even, she always did that. She didn't even have a compost pile. I was like, oh. She goes, I just, comp so what you're doing is you're composting right where you're planting so it saves actually a lot of time and then the natives would go garden somewhere else and were and then they'd let that 
the area over there break down where they did the sheet composting and then they go garden somewhere else where they were done sheet composting like six months ago and they don't have to and that's how they feed their soil and they feed their plants because if your soil is super fertile and super um has a lot of organic matter in it that's what's going to feed your plants organically all that stuff in the stores that you feed your plants with it's all synthetic it's not organic so I like that so I just go and take my coffee grounds and I throw them always in my pots and so my pots are always getting fed really good stuff I do it to the trees I do it all over the place okay so we just did the carrot look how cute that carrot is and again I'm not going to um, what did I skip over here oh I skipped the little spot I kept telling you to make sure you do the little spot see this right here this is white this is why this should be black right here. That's how much of a store thumb that stuck out when I really looked at it. Okay, let me put my brush back in my thing here. Okay, so let me show you how this carrot looks up close. Look how adorable that is. Isn't that cute? I love it. And who says you can't make these and put these on your Christmas tree? How adorable would this be? So, keep an eye out for that because that could be really cute. And the eggs could be really cute. And all this could go right onto your Christmas tree. The bunnies may look a little weird, but the carrots and the, um, you know what? You could throw the damn bunnies on there too. What, especially if, what if you had a farmhouse type of tree? Oh my God, that would look so cute. Um... Or if you did a McKenzie Child's tree or you did a pink and I, I do a pink and black. Well, anything's going to work on there. So, yeah, any of these could be Christmas decor decorations. Okay, so we're not going to do the, the uh, inclusions, but this is how it looks with the inclusions. And I showed you guys how to do that on the bunny, like I said. So, isn't that just adorable? Isn't that adorbs? Okay, so now the last one we're going to do... Okay, let me put this somewhere. We're going to do the egg. We're going to do this one. Oh, I need to do the bunny ears on this one. So let me do that. Put that down, put that down. Let's do the bunny ears really quickly. For the bunny ears, I like to do use this liner brush. And hopefully my white is not dried up too much. The reason I like to do that liner brush is because it can make some really nice polka dots. There we go. But kind of controlled polka dots. Because it won't make them too big. So, just coming in here and just making little polka dots. These little polka dots just live in my brush and they're so cute and they're so easy to polka dot no major there we go that quick and easy look how cute that is the, the um, McKinsey checks with polka dots. Oh. So McKinsey check always says that she does her uh, McKinsey checks. She does polka dots. She does stripes and she mixes it all up. It's so cute. So there we go with that. Love it. All right. So next let's do the, um, Let's do the egg. Where is my little sample of my egg? All right, where's my little white egg? There it is. All right, and let me look at the time situation. All right, we're, good, we're doing good on time. All right, so like I said, just like the um, carrot, I like to just start right down the middle. It solves a lot of issues when you do other projects to start right down the middle. Doesn't have to be perfectly down the middle, no. But as close as you can get. Okay. 
No, do you need to measure or anything? No, absolutely not. Okay. Nice. And then... Oops. There we go. See how sand it's go ahead and use that tape like that to hold your your egg down. There we go. Now, do I care that I end up perfectly on both sides? Absolutely not. Alright, go to the top. And let's do our stripes going across. That's what I was attracted to about the Mackenzie child. Everything is just so whimsical. And then when she said, and we don't do things perfect here. And then she pointed out the inclusions. And she pointed out the little bit of getting out of out of spaces. And like every square isn't perfect. And Mackenzie Childs, they, um, they hand paint their checks. They don't even use the tape method like I'm doing. They were showing it. And um, they use like a really square brush. The size that they want their checks. That's what I that's what I was studying when I was watching them. But that also takes practice. So um, yeah, we I, I want to do mine now. So <laughs> I don't want to practice. So this way, this is the fast way of doing it. And still effective and really fun. Okay, so we're out of room, right? Go down here. Can't make any more checks. Okay, so we're good. All right, let me get my paintbrush out and we will start painting this the black and white checks. And then after I'm done with this, I'm going to pause you guys for a second. I don't even need to tell you because you wouldn't even know I was pausing you. Um, white, let's do black here. Um, and I'm going to um, get some bows, some ribbon for bows or some scrap pieces of fabric. Do a quick experiment and see if we should put bows on things. They have uh, some really farmhouse looking ribbon and some black and white check. I gotta find it. Um, just a second. White, black, white. So black needs to go here. Um, I got it from Dollar Tree. So hopefully I can find it. I'm pretty sure I know where I put it. You know how it is. You can organize yourself right into a mess. At least I can. From that baby wipe, there was a little bit too much moisture in my brush. There we go. Perfect. All right, so we'll do black. That's white. This is black here. And I wanted to show you each shape because each shape is kind of different so you can kind of see how I figured it out to do the checks on different things I want to add the lines a little bit right there Perfect. These little pieces are so fun. 
and they're so gratifying because <laughs> you do them so quick and they're done. And my thing is, I don't know if, if the ribbon, I'm not sure which pieces ribbon will look good on or which pieces, sometimes when you add ribbon, it actually looks, it doesn't make it look better. It looks tacky, but then there's other times where it just looks phenomenal. It just adds to it. So I just need to try it. I need to try it and see. See, I accidentally went over. See this connector right here? There should be a little white triangle right there. But I accidentally went over it. But no major. It was really, really small. That's why I ended up going over it by accident. Okay. So there we are with the egg. The egg is the simplest one. It's such a simple shape. Such a simple shape. Let me just see about my brush really quick. I can rinse this out really quickly. Yeah, we'll let it sit in there. Okay, so let me bring the egg up. I'll show you guys how the egg looks. Isn't that fabulous? Okay, now with the inclusions in the egg, this was when, like I told you, you could do like a dark gray inclusion on the white, and then you could do the white paint inclusions on the black checks. So I like it. I like the, um, I like this better, how I use the gold on the white and then the white on the black. So, but it's up to you. And Mackenzie Childs, they do everything. And sometimes they'll take, like if it's um, something that um, has flowers next to it or whatever, they'll throw some other, the colors of the flowers, like blue through it. They'll throw some yellow through it. They do all kinds of cool, crazy stuff. So anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, I think that's it. Oh, that's not it. I'm going to go, I'm going to pause you guys really quick. I'm going to work on some bows here, and then I'm going to show you guys with some bows if I think that these need bows. If not, I'll just come back and let you know which way I'm going to go about that. So I'll be back in just a second for you to be about two seconds. Okay, you guys, we're back. Um, even though, like I said, for you guys, for me, it was like a good 20 minutes for you guys. It was about two seconds. But anyway, I had to work it out to see the pieces that I wanted to put bows on and the pieces I didn't want to put bows on. So let me bring this up a little more. The smalls, all the small ones that we have, I didn't like the bows on them. I thought it looked tacky with the bows. I think these just look good the way they are. So we're not going to put, I'm not putting bows on them. If you can figure out a way to put bows on yours and you like it, then do it. It's always up to you. But I did find a way to put a bow on here. At first I was going to put it here on the neck, but I decided to put it up here in the, on the hair and it looks, on the hair, on the uh, ears and it looks really cute. So I have this black and white striped ribbon. You guys, where did I get this? I got this from Sam's Club at Christmas time. Look at this. Look how much you get. This was only like $7.99 at um, Sam's Club. You can only get this at Christmas time. It's 50 yards for $7.99. That's an insane price and that's a lot of yardage. So I just want to share that with you. So at Christmas time, always go to Sam's Club and you can pick up so much beautiful ribbon for a really good price and get a lot of yardage. Okay, so we're gonna do that bow where we put these two pieces together right here, right? So I'm gonna put some hot glue here and here. I don't go all the way across because it gets it too stiff in the middle where we need to gather it. So I find it better if we just do it like this. Okay. So we have it like this. I'm going to divide it in half. And the reason I divide it in half, then I know where to put the pipe cleaner. 
Otherwise, it's a guessing game and I have to keep arranging it and I almost drive myself insane. So, so now I know exactly where to put this at. Sometimes it still doesn't work out, but most of the time it does. Okay. Did it work out? You guys have seen me <laughs> struggle before with these bows. <laughs> you guys are probably like laughing like, okay, girl. See, I still didn't end up right. Uh, it's smaller over on this side. Let me just scoot over just a little bit. And hopefully I am good enough. Let me see. And you know what? It's good enough. Yes, it's good enough. Sometimes you have to stop going for perfection and just go for good enough. Easier said than done, I know. Okay. And can I? Yeah, I'm going to have to. I think that looks, look how cute that looks right there. I think that is so cute. And then we'll fluff it up. Okay, so let me cut this off here off the back. All right, and we'll put it on here first and then we'll fluff it um, out after I get it on here. We'll hot glue it on. I was just looking at my time. This is a long video, but whatever. My videos are long, everybody knows. But you know, I like, I've, I've said it before, I like a long video and the reason I like a long video it's because I can just work along with that person. That's how I kind of look at it. I'm like, okay, we're working along each other. Um, even though they have no idea I'm watching them <laughs> or I'm working with them. But, you know, and then I don't have to also go searching for another video. Because I like to just sit and craft and watch videos. But then I hate every, you know, 10, 15 minutes I have to get a new video. So I love when it's a long one. Then I'm like, oh, good. And it's someone, of course, I like. Then I don't have to go and find another video. I can watch them for an hour hour and a half sometimes two hours especially if they're streaming okay so now we're gonna puff it up and we need to put something there I don't know if I have something or not we'll see I should have grabbed a rhinestone of some sort how pretty would it look to put a rhinestone right there in the middle I think I have something here that's just sitting on my desk where is it I do I have a rhinestone we'll see if this rhinestone looks right let's see some rhinestones look right, some rhinestones don't. Oh no, that looks perfect. So this is the rhinestone we're going to use. Do I have my Tim Holtz scissors here? I don't. Okay. Plenty of glue. Now let's put that right in the middle there. I love these little rhinestones. I got them from a Hobby Lobby this year for the 75% off clearance. They had two packs and I picked them both up right away. I was like, oh yes, ma'am. Look how fabulous this looks. Oh, how adorable. Look how cute it looks with the bow. So you have to judge it yourself. Sometimes it looks extra super cute with a bow and sometimes it makes it look tacky. So you have to kind of look at it and judge it for yourself what you think. But on this one, I think the bunny looks adorable. Now I'm gonna show you the egg with it. Now this egg doesn't have the inclusions in on it, so I still have to do that, but. All right, so we're gonna do the same. We're gonna do it the same way. Use the same stuff. And we're gonna do the bow the same way. I'm gonna put glue on just on each, hot glue on each end not all the way around and then bring this together. Okay. And then go ahead and fold this in half so I can try to find the center. At least I'll be closer than I was, than I would be. <clears throat> All right, and then take our pipe cleaner. And I told you guys, make sure you always get your pipe cleaners at Christmas time. I said that when I when I hauled them. Make sure you get them at Christmas time at Hobby Lot or at Dollar Tree. 
they're only a dollar of course and the thing about it is you can get gold and silver and those are just neutral colors so they can go with any of your projects I always pick up five or six packs and then I have um, that enables me to have pipe cleaners to match any of my projects all year round so I pick up mostly gold I always pick a couple of silver up too but either way I have stuff to match my projects. I have pipe cleaners to match my projects. Um, right now at Easter time, they usually have pink and they have white. And the reason I like it is I can get a whole pack of silver, a whole pack of gold. Otherwise, um, Hobby, or Dollar Tree carries them, but then you have to get a pack that has all these colors, like orange and blue, things I'm never going to use. So I'd rather have uh, gold or have silver or even black. You can get black at, um, when? At, um, Halloween time. And black can be very useful too. And right now, you, like I said, you can get a whole thing of pink or white for, um, Easter. <coughs> so pick up those basic colors like that, but definitely pick up a bunch of the gold and silver. Okay, let me cut this off. These are my fabric scissors. I should be using those. Make sure you guys are still there. And you are. We're just about finished with the video. Like I said, this video is a little bit longer today, but I um, don't want to go like right there at the top. This video is a little bit longer today, but um, we did a lot in one video. So my next few videos are going to be probably long like this for these uh these uh, spring and Easter DIYs because um, there we go because um, I have a lot to show you and then this way we can get a lot done in one video I don't have to make a bunch of you know smaller ones I would rather just make you know uh, quite a few big ones and a whole bunch of small ones that's just me Okay, so we hot glue that on. Let's puff up our bow. These are simple bows. I make bows where I make like tons and tons of loops, but um, that would just be too big for what we're doing right now. So, oh, look how cool that looks. Now let's put a rhinestone in the middle. We'll see if this rhinestone looks good. Look at that. I've used all those. They're called spare parts. I'll be so sad when I'm done. I have one more card of those. Just a second. I want to cut this. I can get, oh yeah, it came out cut off. Got it cut off. It's just the backings on here. I just want them off. Come off. There we go. So let's see what that looks like. Yeah, perfect. That looks good. So remember, on this egg, we still have to put the inclusions on, which I'll do off camera. Can't do everything on camera. Just a second, you guys. I'm just looking at this myself. Oh, that is so pretty. Check that out. It's not pretty. Let me bring the camera down a little bit. I think that looks gorgeous. I'll bring it this way since it's kind of long. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I like that a lot. Very pretty. You know, I'll take it. I could have put tails on it too and had some tails hanging like that. That might look good too. I'm not sure if it would look good or not, but it could. So you could put tails, but I definitely like this beautiful bow at the top. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, you guys, that is it for this long video but we got a lot done so we have the egg the mckinsey styled egg we have the mckinsey styled rabbit uh we have the mckinsey style little the minis okay wait so let's see what am i missing oh the egg where's the egg at? oh here it is and the McKinsey style little minis, I call them. 
So see, we did a lot. We did uh, the, we did the beautiful ra rabbit. This is the most beautiful rabbit they've done yet. It looks very Hobby Lobby. Well, now it looks very Mackenzie Childs. We did this beautiful egg, and we have minis. Okay? So that's a whole lot of goodness right there. So I think that's worth an almost an hour and a half of uh, video. Okay, you guys, that is it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. If you can give this video a thumbs up, any comments or questions, leave them below. Come visit me on Facebook and Instagram. And let me know, are you going to try some of these out? And, um... And do and do some McKinsey Child style. Now remember, really quickly, you guys, the techniques I taught you, you can do it on anything. No, you can do it on plates, you can do it on mugs, you can do it on cups, you can do it on whatever you want to do. It. It's the technique that really counts, not really what I'm painting on. But so you can use those techniques and take them anywhere you want. Okay, you guys, that is it. Um, make sure you do something nice for someone today. And remember, this is so important, so so important in today's world. Remember, my friends, we have more in common than we don't. Okay. All right, I'll talk to you guys in the next video.